All right, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? It is Simplistic, and welcome back to another video. Never judge a book by its cover. That's what I've always been told. It's not about what's on the outside, but what is on the inside that matters most. And that motto can really apply to a lot. Food, I mean, great presentation. Oh. You just gotta love a juicy burger, but what about my sweet tooth? Mm. Kind of like dropping $100 on purpose in public and seeing if honest people will give it back or if bad people will keep it. And last but not least, businesses. The American dream is to start your own company, provide for your family, and make consistent money. There are many different paths you can take to make some cash. Starting a successful restaurant, creating a popular gym, or owning an entire bank. But what about those who aren't as fortunate due to their service, appearance, or just lack of recognition? Today, I'll be visiting the sketchiest businesses in my city to test if they deserve the criticism or are just hidden gems that haven't been discovered yet. I am a little scared. I want to go through this entire video with the same health and wealth that I currently have. I do not want to get sick or lose my entire bank account from a scam, but I am excited to step out of my comfort zone. You know, what's the morning without starting with a breakfast? We're beginning our journey here in Los Angeles, California, but more specifically in Compton, a small town that's known for their impact on hip hop culture, but also for their gangs and crime activity. Hey, as long as we're not looking for trouble, we should be fine, hopefully. I 100% do not want to get caught up in these parts. Luckily for us, Right around the corner, we have this house looking building that says Milk. I believe the name is m and and it's a dairy drive through or at least used to be, because I don't see one functioning at the moment. At first glance, this looks like it would be placed right in the middle of a mini golf course. It's such a good, wonderful potential last hole. I am a grab and go type of guy, so this does fit my vibe, but I'm curious to see what's really on the inside. Hi, how's it going? Good, good. Whoa, look at all the soda options. Mexican Coke to top tier. And for all my Hispanics, Jaritos, the Tamarindo version. Ooh, we'll save that for later. It's not the time for soda. Everything in these aisles are exactly what I would find in my local grocery store. We must keep searching and dig deeper. I'm pretty used to seeing these in my local grocery stores, you know, Ding Dongs, Twinkies, Donuts. I just need something that's gonna fill me up. Overall, to be honest, it just didn't fit the description. I'm super happy I decided to come here earlier rather than later, that was on purpose. When it turns dark, it becomes spooky hours. I'm not a big fan of the meals that's commonly associated with breakfast like pancakes, eggs, or bacon. So we stumbled upon Dale's Donuts. That baby is ginormous. I got extremely hyped just to find out that they're not functioning anymore. Literally not a single human or person is working. Damn! They had cinnamon rolls. What a shame. We found this complex that's pretty run down. Graffiti all over the walls. And this company is for lease. I might become a potential owner. Who knows in the future? Sometimes in life, small ideas become big dreams. You just gotta create them. Damn, the prices were too outrageous and out of control. I've never have once in my life witnessed a 98 cent store. It's always been plus one to 99. Truly is kind of sad. I hope the owners are doing okay, but everything's barred up with metal and wood. If only we could have had the full experience. What is that? If I I knew how to read Spanish. I'm a no sabo kid, so something having to do with money. Oh, a bakery. On their advertising, there's tons of sweet breads and stuff. I believe we got a hit. Holy, I love the setup. It's kind of like you come in and just grab what you want, self-serve, and it's also very descriptive. Look at the ingredients. Tells you what it contains. Sugar, salt, flour, yeast, baking powder, milk, eggs, water. Can you pick like some of your favorites? I just want to try something new. Uh, poquito. <laughs> Oh, dang, I, I I lost my Spanish when I was like three. Es tu favoritos. Yeah, a little bit of a language barrier. There's honestly no doubt that this is gonna smack. Freshly pulled out of the oven, very soft. A full on coffee bar, wow. I do have to make it myself, so that is terrifying. My ratios are usually off. Let's try our best. Big Cubs 2024. Our options are the French vanilla cappuccino, a mocha, or hot chocolate. Ooh, I need the energy. It wasn't that hard, just the push of a button. You know, before walking in, I was skeptical, but genuinely, I'm feeling right at home. Sugar and spice, everything nice. Stir it and give it a whirl. Throw a top on it, no cap. They do have a smaller menu located behind the glass, and they have tortas. They're actually out of stock, and they'll continue tomorrow. All good. Solid combo, though. Oh, yes. Loud motorcycles outside. Hey, I'm literally filming. When everything was under construction, they should have considered that I was gonna be here and they shouldn't have put a main street on the side. Let's get a good break. Ooh, extremely doughy. Mm. 
scrumptious. It's already burning my hand. We should be careful. No doubt in my mind, better than Starbucks. Not only for the value, but all things considered, five stars and a success. In the same exact area, we have a barbershop or a beauty salon. I am in need of a fade and to stop looking like a mushroom from Mario. Yes, sir. That's what they offer. Oh, it's one of these. Let's see our options. I remember my father having to come and take me and I'd have to pick a number off the wall. Should I get number eight? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 26 is wild. If I had a full-on beard, I would definitely go this thin. I mean, that's just lovely. On everything though, I think number seven would fit me best. Modern and a dope environment. Bro's about to put on some heat. Jam's on the way. Customer is finishing up, about to be my turn. I really thought they were about to put on a Hispanic band or something like that, but bro, 21 Savage? Come on. Honestly, I trust you. Get me right. Also, I just want to say this does not count as cheating on my barber, okay? I don't want any beef. Originally, I was only going for the sides, but after further consideration, I will get some off the top. She's moving very fast with confidence. Respect the efforts, for real. I haven't glanced over at the mirror. I wanna save my reaction for the end. I was planning on going emo for 24 hours, but don't think I need to anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the bangs are gone out here looking like a stud. I might try out for the role of James Bond. Who knows? After applying some finishing touches and aftershave, we're done. Smells amazing. You know, other than me bleeding from my neck, it's pretty spot on to what I usually get. I would consider myself an extremely satisfied customer. She told me it cost $35, but I think it deserves $100. You keep it. Huh? Keep it. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Thank you so much. She really received a $65 tip. Hey. You bless me, I bless you. We were walking down this alleyway and that of course is a prime spot for a pawn shop. Loan, buy, sell, gold, silver, platinum, diamonds. These types of businesses tend to be mischievous and discreet with their deals because they're usually a scam. But then again, that also could be a stereotype. But with the signs all over the window, it's giving cash grab. I'm hoping to get a steal for some Hot Wheels, some ketchup. Realistically, if I spot something that is a must have, I'm trying to get the best price and not get robbed. Low key, I stopped playing on these systems since the 360. That's when it fell off. We're a PS5 gang now. One of my biggest dreams and goals is to learn how to play an instrument. Finding the time is the hardest part though. There's lots of options. Oh, is this a banjo? What? There's not much else except wait, some jewelry. I wonder if those are authentic diamonds. From my appearance, they would probably assume I'm a surfer boy. I feel like I got the California vibe. This one looks like it's been sanded a lot though. They got it for 109. Oh wait, what? They have designers. My mom does deserve a new handbag for all the work she's been putting in school. Look at the freaking bag, bro. I'm proud of her. Proud of her. Overall though, a great assortment of items. Looks like there are some accidents that occurred. The front door glass is completely shattered. Wish these were plugged in can show you how good I am. Ooh. In this glass case, we got comic books, video games, camera lenses. Now you got my attention. Two Nintendo Switches and an Apple Watch. Wait, is that compatible with what we're using? Maybe we get that and just try and shoot something with it. Uh, I wanted to check out this lens right here. Yeah, I don't know if it's compatible. I just wanted to see if it fits the... It's like an extension too. Oh, it's like an extender. Oh, it's Fujifilm. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know if that's gonna be able to like fit with the exact mount. Can I see like just one of those in the back right there? Okay. What? Like the Statue of Liberty? It looks like it. Where is it? Um, like how old are these? So this one's 1921. Most oh, 1921. Like, like that good. What's wild is right next door, I see an establishment that is Provident Bank that I've never heard before. I feel like if I were to open an account somehow, some way, I would go bankrupt. I'm used to Chase, Wells Fargo, Citibank, Bank of America. But then again, I could be missing out. Hey, that is just my opinion. That is not a statement that has been approved by the FDA. But hey. I'm sure they're great. I'm in the need for some fuel and energy. Lunch has dawned upon us. Instead of getting my typical cuisine, I found the Lucky Greek char-broiled hamburgers. Pastrami, steak sandwiches, subs, and it's the original since 1976. It caught my attention because I'm wondering, is it outdated or is it just a certified hood classic? There's not a lot of design and branding wise on the outside because it's just a blue roof and white walls, but that is exactly the model I stand by. Keep it simple. Whoa, the menu. One, two, three, four five TV screens worth. Low key feeling like I'm in a 80s movie. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. This is exactly how it was served. Very retro, old fashioned. Truly an aesthetic. Got our crispy salted fries, a hefty burger, and they incentivize you to use this ketchup. Gotta follow the rules. Probably one of the girthiest Coca-Colas I've ever had in my possession. Look at that. Mm, that is fire. I believe we discovered a hole in the wall. I can confidently confirm I will be coming back. ASMR crunch. Oh, they're steaming hot, but delicious. The whole theme that they're going for is also displayed in the artwork. One of my biggest pet peeves is when soda is either flat or watered down. This one is the second. Drinkable, 
but not enjoyable. Final rating though, highly satisfied. I just got RKO'd Randy Orton out of nowhere. Complimentary on the house. A whole zucchini platter that they're known for. Fried to perfection? Mm. I believe this is the mushroom. Onion. I love zucchini. Best of both worlds. Pack your nutrition, but also not the healthiest. We stay getting blessed. We pull up to downtown where there's lots of history and tons of generations have been in and out, as well as it being my hometown and favorite place on planet Earth. We are in the fashion district where many people get their start, but as well as fail and don't make it out alive. We're taking a deep dive into retail. Personally, I don't think my outfit is trash, but I do want to acquire some new threads. If you make one wrong turn, you might end up in Skid Row which is the largest populated street of homeless in America. And then not too far away will be a five-star Michelin restaurant. There is no telling what we're going to encounter. You're not supposed to park here. I'm walking here. So inconsiderate. We might have just hit the jackpot. M2, the men's shop. No, they just closed. You got to keep following down this sidewalk. I have something that's in my brain that I just want to say. I think it's kind of odd that if you're just different from the rest of the crowd, they don't treat you the same. Society would rather outcast you than to accept you. If you have a dream, please pursue it no matter what we're getting close on the left and right a bunch of equipment my drip meter did not go off hold up i cited bad vintage buy sell and rent we have to somehow make our way upstairs we entered through this lobby this is a weird way to get in there taxes are coming up i mean might have just found my new agent wait this is hold on wait exactly what happens when you trust the process you'll end up bumping into something that you never knew existed sweaters jeans t-shirts all in stock might have to get soft on them hey yo <laughs> Kind of sus. When I go to Disneyland next, Minnie has some competition. This white tee is clean. Oh, it says guilty with a bunch of innocent looking pets. Hold on. I'm adding it to the cart. Was not expecting it to be this grand and nice. Supreme? Is it authentic though? Eh, what's it matter to me? I'm at a point where if I wear it, <laughs> no one's questioning it. Some rare cactus jack? McDonald's collaboration? I'm dropping a fat bag. A shiesty has always been a must. You never know who's lurking. You don't know me like that. You guys know me and my skateboarding roots. I would pick up a deck, but it's not needed. In the casing, just a whole collection. Lighters, bobbleheads, hats, a fossil kit, and even a gumball machine. All supreme. Got my pickup secured. Yes! Come on! They hooked it up with a whopping seal. $120 flat. I'm proud. I've been heavily craving to get my back broken like a glow stick, and you know, I was considering going to a chiropractor, but that's the worst case scenario because they would probably mess up my entire life by breaking my neck. Our next best bet, I mean, Happy Feet, and I'm not talking about the Penguin movie. The exterior branding seems very aged. Straight to the point, nothing more, nothing less. And that's exactly why I pulled up. And <laughs> not to mention, there's a bar right next to it. I can hear the music and people from the sidewalk. It's loud. How am I supposed to lock in and get in my zen with all that nonsense? Let's pray I don't come out sore. Christmas came early. Or it just never left. I hear tons of people shouting. It's a full-on party. Other than it needing some renovations as well as it being incredibly noisy, I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy every second of it. My toes are, in fact, satisfied. So we are searching for a car dealership to purchase a new vehicle. I am in the market. I want something fresh and stylish. And while on the hunt, we found one, but it seems to be abandoned. I don't see anything in the lot. The gardening upkeep has been absolutely terrible. There's weeds everywhere growing from the roots. There's glass shards that we potentially could have stepped on, and it's boarded up and vandalized. I'm guessing that's where we would go up and make our deal. Wait, hold on. We just came up. Let's go. You got some Timberlands. Bro, I think that's a size nine. You can buy, sell, or trade. I know I just added a new Tesla to my inventory, but I'll gladly give it up. You know, nearby, I stayed at a hotel that was filled with bed bugs, graffiti, and some odd people going in and out, as well as some holes that were man-made in the walls. I was really contemplating on going again, but from my past experiences, been there, done that. Nah. We stumbled across a reptile factory, which encourages you to live in nature. Need I say more? I'm not the biggest fan of amphibians because I don't want to get bit and poisoned. I'm terrified. Whoa, exotic. Genuinely prehistoric, I swear. Like a mini dinosaur. They have different types of setups and environments. Live hornworms? I've never heard of that species. Just picking one of those up and chewing it. A real dinosaur skull. <laughs> The legs? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's actually like 
living. I think we need to just ban these ones. Jumping spiders. A hey, Pikachu Pac-Man. Bro, he's just vibing. A hey, Socotra Island Blue Baboon Tarantula Monoceptrus Balfouri. I think it got out of its cage though. Cause I'm not seeing it. Ah, I think that's our cue. Y'all, it's the very next day and I have a crazy story to tell you. Everything was all going fine and dandy until I found a nice quaint restaurant in an alleyway. Even though my gut instinct told me to walk away, I went inside, looked at the menu and placed my order. All I got was spaghetti. And the reason why none of this was recorded, you might ask, was because I responded back to my mom saying I didn't like her cooking. I was at her house and basically it was just the whole mix up. It wasn't really something I intended to, you know, hate on because it is my family member. She birthed me. I didn't want to whip out the cameras and be offensive. I'm just kidding. I love you, mom. I love your cooking. But anyways, truth be told, my camera just died. So now we're here. I love you guys so much. Go ahead and drop a like, comment down below and make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys all with the next video. Peace out.